The Great Lakes Regional Championship winner goes to the Little League World Series. I love the Little League World Series. We got a small Indiana town versus a Kentucky town. Uh Uh-oh. They hit the first battery, flips the bat. He claps his hands. He says, hold this pad for me. I got to put this pad on. Double padded. Catcher says, let's go up top. Kid from Kentucky says, I'll put that into the outfield. Easy peasy Lemon squeezy. So you got two on and two outs and a ball right at the second baseman. Oh, man. In his glove and out of his glove. No one scores, though, but look at this. Just a hot shot. Bam. Kind of trampolines it up in the air. So now bases loaded, two outs. They're in a jam. Traffic zooming in the background. And first pitch. Foul back. Strike one. Kentucky dads look on, nervous, noivous. Okay, says, let's go fastball outside. Fastball outside. Boom. Kid's like, what? You got to remember, the strike zone is like two balls off the plate in the Little League, and they go up top, get the K, struts off the mound. This team from Indiana, it got the whole town cheering for him, and the whole town is isn't that many people. We're talking about a small, small town, 1,787 residents. I mean, did you see? It's like one neighborhood. It's like one gridded neighborhood. The graduating class is less than 100. I love small town America. It's my favorite. This town, Hagerstown, back in the 70s, they had a laundromat that Mrs. Revere would have been jealous of. No other town this size has a better coin laundry. Wouldn't Mrs. Paul Revere enjoy such facilities? And west of town is a park for all ages to enjoy picnics and Little League baseball. Dedicated adults insist on fair play with our fun. Fair play, Little League, they got a great history. Tiny little town. The whole town's behind them. It makes Little League World Series more fun. They go outside fastball. Kid tries to bunt it, nods his head. I mean, we're talking about tiny classrooms Usually there's like, you know, 5,000 kids, and then you have the all-star team. Like, how many kids didn't make the all-star team for Hagerstown, Indiana? Seems like everyone's playing, and they're playing really well. Fastball outside. Catcher calls it. One, two. Nice pitch by the Kentucky pitcher. He's like, yep, you guys throw it around. Easy for me. Nothing to it. Oh, just bare hand that because I'm a man. Oh, here comes the legs. Digs his cleat in. Tap, tap, fastball inside. What's going to happen? Goes a little up, a little up. Strike one. That pitch actually kind of has some run to it, which is wild. Like a two-seam fastball. Like I think it's just his natural arm motion, but you see that ball, how it kind of, he's aiming it outside, but kind of, like that's a, it's like a very well-executed pitch. The catcher sets up. He hits he hits the catcher right in the glove, and it's got run on it. It's a great pitch. 0-2 gets him to swing and miss over the fastball down, but drop third strike, so he gets the first, then drops himself, and the crowd loves it. The ghost of Hagerstown is there watching on. All right, next batter comes up. Runner on first, one out, fouled straight back. Liked it, though. The 0-2, trying to get that outside again. Catcher says, let's go up. Let's go way up. The 1-1 doesn't chase off the catcher's glove. Our guy's going to second base. That's the go-ahead run on second. Now the 2-1 in play. Second baseman bobbles it, stays with it, out. Good call by the ump. But now the go-ahead run is on third, and the fans are ready. Our time. Two out. You got to make sure you can get in. He's talking about scoring on a pass ball because he's a go-ahead run at third, but there's two outs, so don't be dangerous. And we get a pass ball. Almost takes a perfect bounce to the catcher pitcher, so the runner stays on third. Smart, good coaching. Got to make sure you can get in. Fastball outside. Here we go. One, two. Gets it inside a little bit. It's got that same run, but it doesn't work out for him. And Hagerstown, Indiana, the small town of less than 2,000 people are going to the World Series, and we got dads going crazy. We got fans going crazy. We got father, son, coach, son, hug. He just won't let him go. He's so damn proud of his son, and it makes me tear up, and they're tearing up in the stands, and everybody is incredibly, oh, and the ghost of Hagerstown watches on. Some say he was behind it all.